Yo, this is Afric lad, the lad from Africa. Okay, listen, I've got some big news for you guys, okay? For those of you who have not been following, I've got big news for you guys, and this is about boxing, yeah? But before I get to this news, please, please, for those of you who haven't, please subscribe now and click the notification bell. Because from now on, I've got more videos for you guys, like epic, exclusive videos for you guys from boxing, in fact, all sorts of sports, and some news from Africa, from Europe, from UK, from everywhere. Different activities, but epic stuff, length stuff, yeah? So hit that subscribe button now and click the notification bell, my Gs. Come on, go for it now. Hit it now, okay? Have you done it? Come on, what are you waiting for? Anyway, listen, let's get into this quickly, yeah? Um, for those of you who've been following or for those who haven't been following boxing news, right? There's big news, yeah? You all know Tyson Fury, the gypsy king, the man himself who is undefeated, yeah? Very strong, big dude. As you all know, he called out Anthony Joshua recently, or somebody, some people will say he gave the opportunity to Anthony recently to fight him. Now, for those of you who don't know the story, the back stories, let's, let's flip it back. Let's rewind. Anthony um, Joshua, AJ, lost to the, UK, the Ukrainian dude, um, Usyk, recently. He's lost twice now in a row. And then Tyson Fury fought with Dillian earlier on in the year. He won that one. Tyson then said he's going to retire. Well, he went said he's going to retire, blah, blah, blah. People are saying he's not retiring, etc., etc., and everything. Anyway, he then called out various other um, boxers, like, um, what's his name? Derek Chisora. Um, different, different boxers anyway. I can't even remember their names now. Then when AJ lost, he said he wanted to fight Usyk. But Usyk, I think it's pronounced as Usyk, not Usyk. Usyk can't fight. According to a report, he can't fight now until probably March or so, like spring next year. Then Tyson came out with an announcement calling or giving the opportunity to AJ to fight him for the WBC belt. That's the heavyweight championship of the world. Guess what then? Just today, earlier on today, and that is what time, it, what day is it now? Today is Tuesday, the 13th of September. Anthony's management, that's 258, and Anthony Joshua, and the promoter, Matchroom Boxing, put out a statement on Twitter and on um, Instagram as well. This is what they said. Listen, it says 258 and Matchroom Boxing can confirm on behalf of Anthony Joshua, that's AJ, the big AJ, mm -mm -mm, you get what I mean, that we accept all terms presented to us by Fury's team for a fight on December the 3rd. December the 3rd, guys. December the 3rd, guys. Wow. Are you excited? Boxing fans, yeah? UK boxing fans, are you guys excited? Cheers. Oh, man. It doesn't look like it's going to happen in London, though. And which is a shame because I wanted to go see that fight. Now, it sounds like it's going to happen in Cardiff somewhere, in Wales. That's going to mess it up for me, isn't it? I was hoping it will happen. It will take place in Wembley so I can go there and watch. I'll be in the queue to buy that ticket straight up as soon as I'll boom, I'm on there at the stadium. I don't want to watch that online or on TV or something. I'm not interested in that. This is a big fight. It's huge. This one I wanted to see. This one you want to see. This is the one fans want to see. So we want to see it in London. But anyway, it's going to happen still, still. We want to see it happen. It's going to happen. Let them make it happen, please. Okay? So, that is the longer shot of it. So, it looks like, it sounds like they've, well, it's not sound like they have accepted it for the 3rd of December. And that's what Tyson Fury was saying anyway. He wanted, he gave them some few dates. I think one was in November. Of course, that was never going to happen. Then he gave them end of November, something like that. Whatever the dates, I can't remember. But he gave them dates in November. Then he gave them December. Now, these guys, Anthony's team and Matchroom, Matchroom Boxing have said, yes, they accept all the terms. And if you don't know, excuse me, already they've said the purse split is probably 60, 40. So Tyson's going to get 60. Anthony's going to get 40. And he said he's fine with that. So it's cool. Let them have a go now then. It's all set. We should have a big fight. Come on. So we're looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it as well. 
this is the news I have for you guys, okay? More coming. I got more for you um, on the other videos I'm going to put out. All right, my great people. Listen, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell and share this video to everyone, okay? But let's keep fingers crossed for AJ versus Fury or Fury versus AJ. That's boxing. I am Africa Lad, the lad from Africa.